In this tutorial, I'm going to find the characteristic polynomial of the 4x4 matrix, which has elements 1, 2, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 2, 1. And by definition, the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of a minus lambda i n, where the i n is the identity matrix. So I will write our PN of lambda characteristic polynomial is the determinant of a minus lambda i n. In this case, our A there is that 4 by 4 matrix, and our identity matrix we would have the same size as the matrix that is given. So we would have the 4 by 4 identity matrix. And uh, that identity matrix there is uh, once on the diagonal. In the formula there, we are multiplying that identity matrix by a lambda. So when you multiply by that lambda, it will result in having lambda on the diagonal of uh, the lambda i n and uh, when you subtract it from uh, the given matrix what we'll do is we'll subtract lambda from those elements which will be on the diagonal of uh, the matrix a and the result will be the determinant of 1 minus lambda 2 0 0 2 1 minus lambda 0 0 0 0 1 minus lambda 2 0 0 2 1 minus lambda we now go on and uh, evaluate that determinant. And when you are evaluating determinants, we can use any row or column. But it is convenient to use uh, the row or column with the most number of zeros. In this case, I will choose uh, row number one, which is uh, two zeros. So using row number one to evaluate the determinant, I'll look at uh, the first element there, the one minus lambda. I close uh, the row and the column containing these elements, and uh, we'll look at the array of positive, negative, positive, negative. The one minus lambda, we are having its own a positive, then the negative, and the positive, then the negative. So what we'll do, since it's sitting on a positive position, it will be one minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of uh, the uncovered elements. So for that uh, first element there, we'll be having one minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda, 2, 0, 2, 1 minus lambda. I now move on to the next element in that row, the 2 there. The 2 is uh, sitting on a negative, and I'll close the row and the column containing the 2, and we see that it's on a negative there, so it will be a minus 2. Minus 2 multiplied by the determinant of the uncovered elements, and would have minus 2 times the determinant of 2, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda, 2, 0, 2, 1 minus lambda. And the other elements in that row that I was using are zeros, so there's no need to go any further with uh, expanding with the zeros, because it will just be plus 0, minus 0. We now go on and uh, simplify the expression that we are having there. For the first part there, we are having 1 minus lambda, but it's being multiplied by the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. To find that determinant, I'll look at uh, the first element there, 1 minus lambda, and I will expand using that first row. So I'll close the row and the column containing that element. So that 1 minus lambda using the array of positive, negative, positive is sitting on a positive. So the result there, it will be. 1 minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of the uncovered elements. 1 minus lambda, 2, 2, 1 minus lambda. So we we'll have multiplied by 1 minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 2, 2, 1 minus lambda. Now moving on to the other part there. Here we have the minus 2 multiplied by the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. And I will use the first row to evaluate the determinant, so looking at the first element, a 2, I'll close on the row and on the column. And um, we are looking at the 2 is sitting on a positive. So it will be the 2 multiplied by the determinant of the covered elements. So it will be 2 times the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 2, 2, 1 minus lambda. The other elements there are zero, so we are done with uh, that determinant of the 3 by 3. Now looking at uh, this part here, that's a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. 
the determinant of a two by two matrix A, B, C, D is equals to A, D minus B, C. So using that formula, that part there will simplify to one minus lambda squared minus four. And when you substitute, we have one minus lambda times one minus lambda multiplied by one minus lambda squared minus four. And looking again at this part, that's just a two by two matrix. And we use again that formula there, the determinant of A, B, C, D is equal to A, D minus B, C. So when I substitute that into the highlighted part there, would have minus two times two multiplied by one minus lambda squared minus four. We can now go on and uh, expand looking at uh, this part here. One minus lambda times one minus lambda times one minus lambda squared minus four. And that will simplify to one minus lambda to the power of four minus four times one minus lambda squared. And now on uh, this part here, we are multiplying that by a minus four. So it will simplify to minus four times one minus lambda squared plus 16. But if we go on and look at this part here, minus four times one minus lambda squared minus four times one minus lambda squared, and that simplifies to minus eight times one minus lambda squared, because we're having minus four minus four, so it will give us minus eight. And our expression becomes one minus lambda to the power four minus eight times one minus lambda squared plus 16. And uh, we can expand that and it will give us lambda to the power of four minus four lambda cubed minus two lambda squared plus four lambda plus nine. So what we are having for the matrix A appearing on the screen there, four by four matrix, and the characteristic polynomial is lambda to the power of four minus four lambda cubed minus two lambda squared plus four lambda plus nine.